As we celebrate Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, we take a look at the history of the Hmong community, which migrated to the United States nearly 50 years ago after the Vietnam War. CBS 47's Gabe Salazar shows us how they made the most after arriving in the Central Valley. The ethnic group never had a country of their own. Many of the Hmong veterans and their families moved to California's Central Valley to start a new life after the war and creating their new home in the United States. California's Central Valley is home to the largest Hmong population in the United States. Nearly 50 years ago, the first Hmong people began migrating to Fresno after the Vietnam War, fleeing Southeast Asia in search for a new home. In 1961, the Vietnam War spread into Laos, and the United States recruited the Hmong people to fight the communists. The Hmong wanted to maintain their independence recruited and trained by the U.S. military to fight against the communists during the war. This was the beginning of what was known as the Secret War. On May 15, 1975, surviving Hmong soldiers and their families were forced to flee Laos to avoid persecution for aiding American soldiers and serving alongside the United States Central Intelligence Agency in the Vietnam War. Church I Vang was only 16 years old when he was recruited by U.S. soldiers to fight in the war and remembers seeing his closest friends dying in the hands of the North Vietnamese army. He beat to death alive, so we could not or could no longer live there because we have been served for the United States as the secret war. V. Vang stands beside this commemorative landmark in downtown Fresno, which depicts two Hmong soldiers helping a downed American pilot during the secret war, serving hand in hand with American soldiers. There was a, li a lot of lives lost. Sometimes uh, 15 to 20 people would go save a, Amer a downed American pilot. However, on the way back, um, of those 15 or 20 people, you only get three back along with the pilot. However, there is one more fight ahead of them. Currently, these veterans, we have about 5,000 to 6,000 that's remaining. When the Hmong Veterans Naturalization Act was passed, honorary American citizenship was granted to thousands of Hmong veterans and their families to the United States. However, they do not receive the same benefits and programs available to U.S. veterans. They fought for the same cause. They fought for the United States interests. And so they feel like they've been left out. But for the Hmong soldiers who eventually made the Central Valley their home, they now focus on education, which is something they couldn't do in Laos. So thinking back about that life and death situation in Laos, how do you feel about making America your home nearly 50 years ago? The language is the number one barrier for our Hmong people because back then in Laos, we didn't have time to go to school because of the war. A lot of veterans of America and the, and the Hmong people, they um, stress and want to make this a resemblance so that future generations can understand that what they've gone through, um, they can forever be seen here. As the number of living Hmong veterans continues to diminish, one last fight for equality so that the memory of these soldiers won't be forgotten. Every Thursday night and Friday morning will bring you inspiring stories showcasing Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders in our community. In studio, Gabe Salazar, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Beautiful story. Thank you, Gabe. Still to come here on 